Hi, Debbie here, and welcome to the From the Heart of a Crafter collaboration, which is being hosted by Amy Love. And there will be a list of all the participants in the description box below, so make sure you go over and check out all their channels. Okay, and for what I did for this collaboration is I altered a little paper mache box. So let me bring it up a little bit closer so I can show you the little box that I altered. This is a little paper mache box. I put some pattern paper on the bottom. I painted it pink. I have some real pretty trim with some flat back pearls going around the box. I have this real pretty silk rose and some paper roses going around. And there's actually a little bit of a crochet uh, it's not the whole doily, but it's a little piece of crochet that you can see going around. It's actually crocheted onto an image, but I covered up the image with the roses. And I got some little beads and some roses, the silk flowers, I mean silk leaves. And just, yeah, they have wire in them so you can bend them however you like. So, so this is what I made. Now I do have a little process video on how I put this little box together. If you stay tuned, you can, you know, watch that. I'm also going to be giving this away. So if you would like to be entered in receiving this little box, all you need to do is just say enter me in in the in your comments and then I'll just pull a name uh, from the comments. And this is going to be for US and international. So let me let me open this cuz this is a real tight fit. And you can see I have the paper lined on the inside of the lid and on the bottom, whoops, upside down, and on the bottom. So this is my little paper mache box. So let me get this on. It's a real tight fit. There we go. So this is what I made. So if you want to stay tuned and watch the little process how I put this together, you can do that. And um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Okay, so I found this little um, paper mache box, and I must have I must have was going to use it at one time for something. These are not my colors, so obviously they're going to be or a swap or something and I never used it and it's got a little paper in there so the first thing I want to do since this is not the color I want is I'm going to just take some gesso just white gesso and I'm just going to paint the whole thing white and then I'll see if I'm going to add another color to it like maybe a pale pink or something but the first thing I need to do is I just need to paint over all this lavender and paint it white so I'm going to do that Okay, I have the gesso on You can still see a little bit of the lavender through it, so I'm going to see how that works. But what I want to use as far as painting it, I have this um, milk paint from Recollections, and it's, it's called Vintage Romance. Now, I really like that color pink, but on the top I'm seeing this. So I'm going to mix a little bit up in a little container and see what the color looks like, because if it's more brown like this, I, I probably won't use it but I do like the color pink. So if this doesn't work out for me, I'll probably just see if I have a nice soft pink paint and then I'll just repaint the little box pink. But let me go see how this um, milk paint works for me. Well, it looks like it's gonna work because the color is really a nice pink. And um, so I'm gonna, I've, I can't remember if I've ever used this before. I think it's more like a stain. And I'm just going to paint the whole box with this color, and then I'll be right back. Well, this did not work at all. The, the, and I did it the way they said, equal amounts. It was like too grainy, and no matter how much I stirred it, it just wouldn't be smooth. And it was, it was like more like a, a foam type. And what's really strange is gessos use like a tooth so things stick to it. This wouldn't even stick to the gesso on the box. So I don't know if anybody's ever used this. 
maybe there's a trick that I don't know, but it didn't work for me at all. So what I'm going to do, I have this really, it's called Princess Pink paint. I'm just going to paint the whole box with this little pink paint. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that. And the Princess Pink turned out really good, so I just need to just let this air dry. Okay, well they're all painted and dried. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add paper to the bottom of the inside and the bottom on the outside and also on the inside of the lid. And the paper that I want to use is the Stamperia Green. They have these little circle cutouts in that paper line and I'm going to pick out the three that I want from this sheet and, and I'll glue them on the little box and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I have my papers on. This is for the inside. And I also put one on the bottom. Well, I told you I was going to do that, so I got this one. And then for the top, I'm going to be covering this up. I just mainly wanted to have something on the top so you could see a little paper underneath what I'm going to be putting on because this is what I have planned. Is I have this image here with this embroidery. I'm going to be, I, I know I'm going to be covering this up, but I wanted the crochet here to go over. I don't have a pink crochet doily this size, so I'm actually just using this because this is what I really want to show is this uh, crocheted edge here because I'll be covering this up. So I'm going to go ahead and, and I wanted a little bit of something in the background sticking out around the edges as opposed to just the pink paint. So that's what I did here. And I distressed it a little bit with this, you know, this distressing tool around the edges here just to shabby it up a little bit and then I'll put this on top like that. Okay, so I've got the cover on and the rest of it I'm going to do with the little box together because I can't put anything here because if I do this will not fit because this fits really snugly just with the paint and um, I picked out some trims that I'm going to use. I'm going to use this lace trim here for the top edge. It's going to go around this here on the top and for the bottom part I have this trim here and then I'm going to put that right up and go around the bottom like that. And then I have this real narrow flat back pearl trim that I'm going to be putting on the tops of both of these. I'll put one on the top like this. Just on that little seam. I like to cover up the seams with with beads if I can. And then this one here, I'll put it like that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, you know put all these on and then I'll show you how it turns out. Okay, so I have it on and it looks like this. I'm not going to lift this lid off quite yet because I want the glue that's holding these down to totally set before I do that because I wouldn't want to pull those beads off if I put them on. But I have this flower arrangement here that I'm going to use. I'm going to be cutting off this dangle part so I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use this and some of the leaves. That's what I want to put on there. And then I have some some little rose buds that I'm going to um, put around. So let me work on that and I'll show you how it turns out. Okay, so this is what I have so far with the rose buds. So what I like to do next is I have this little bead sprayed here. I'm going to cut some of these little beads off and I'm just going to place them inside the arrangement also just to add a little bit of something to that. So I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of those on and I'll show you how it turns out. Okay, I had to pull out a couple of more flowers because when I lifted up the box, I don't like when you look in and you can see spaces, so I needed to fill those in. So I got a couple of more little flowers so I could, you know, use them I guess as fillers. And I also took this one green bead off because for some reason not unless I put more on, it just wasn't looking right, so I took that off. But this is how the top turned out. It turned out so pretty. 
I'm still not going to do this yet. <laughs> I'm not going to open it yet. But this is the box. And this is the bottom. And then you just fill it with all your little goodies. So I hope you like it. I want to thank you for watching. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now.